One of the first signs that a woman might not have had sex for a long time is noticeable changes in her mood. Sex releases feel good hormones like oxytocin and endorphins, which help reduce stress and boost mood. Without this regular release, some women might experience increased irritability, mood swings, or even feelings of sadness. It's important to note that these mood changes can be caused by many factors, but lack of sexual activity can be one of them. Another sign is a higher level of stress or tension. Sexual activity is a natural stress reliever for many people. It helps to relax the mind and body. When a woman hasn't had sex for a long time, she may find it harder to unwind or de-stress. This might show up as increased anxiety, difficulty sleeping, or feeling more on edge than usual. Again, this isn't a universal truth, but it can be a contributing factor. Some women might become more distant or less affectionate when they haven't had sex in a while. Physical intimacy often strengthens emotional connections, and without it, some women may feel less inclined to show affection. This could mean she hugs less, avoids close physical contact, or seems less emotionally engaged in relationships. It's important to approach this with understanding rather than judgment, as everyone has different comfort levels with physical intimacy. Lack of sexual activity can sometimes affect a woman's confidence levels. For many, sex is a way of feeling connected, desired, and validated. Without that experience, some women might struggle with self-esteem, feeling less attractive or desirable. This could show up as a lack of interest in dressing up, withdrawing from social situations, or seeming less confident in general. When a woman hasn't been sexually active for a while, she might become more sensitive to touch. Even casual touches, like a pat on the back or a friendly hug, could feel more intense or noticeable. This heightened sensitivity is the body's way of reacting to the absence of physical intimacy, making even small gestures feel more significant. A woman who hasn't had sex in a long time might find herself more distracted or daydreaming about romantic or sexual situations. Her mind may wander more often to thoughts of intimacy, which can sometimes interfere with her focus or concentration. This doesn't mean she's constantly thinking about sex, but there might be a noticeable shift in where her thoughts tend to go when she's alone or has free time. Finally, there can be some physical signs that a woman hasn't had sex for a while. This could include things like changes in vaginal health, where the lack of regular sexual activity might affect natural lubrication. Additionally, some women might experience a decrease in their libido or sexual desire over time, which can be both a cause and a result of not having sex. If you notice that someone close to you is experiencing mood swings or seems more irritable than usual, it's important to approach the situation with empathy. Instead of jumping to conclusions, offer a listening ear. Sometimes people just need someone to talk to. Understand that there could be many reasons for their mood changes, and showing patience and support can go a long way. If you're in a relationship with this person, Consider whether there's a need to discuss your intimacy together and how you can reconnect emotionally and physically. When you see someone dealing with a lot of stress or tension, think about ways you can help them relax and unwind. This could be through simple acts like suggesting a fun activity, offering to help with tasks that are overwhelming them, or even just providing a calming presence. If you're their partner, Consider the role of intimacy in your relationship and how re-establishing that connection might help reduce stress for both of you. If someone you care about seems distant or less affectionate, it's crucial not to take it personally. Instead, try to create a safe space where they feel comfortable expressing their feelings. Sometimes people withdraw because they feel disconnected or unsure about how to approach intimacy. Encourage open communication about how they're feeling and be supportive rather than pushing them. This can help them feel more secure and open to rekindling affection. Supporting someone who may be struggling with confidence due to a lack of sexual activity involves boosting their self-esteem in other ways. Compliment them genuinely, encourage their strengths, and involve them in activities that make them feel good about themselves. If you're their partner, focus on non-sexual forms of intimacy first, like holding hands, cuddling, or spending quality time together. This can help rebuild their confidence and gradually reintroduce physical intimacy. 
Understanding heightened sensitivity to touch means being more mindful and gentle in your physical interactions. If someone seems startled or overly reactive to touch, give them space and let them set the pace for physical closeness. Always ask for consent and be respectful of their boundaries. Over time, as they become more comfortable, they may be more open to physical affection again. When someone appears distracted or daydreams frequently about romantic or sexual situations, it could be a sign that they're craving connection. Engage them in conversations about their thoughts and feelings without judgment. If you're in a relationship with, consider how you can reignite that spark, whether it's through planning a romantic date, talking openly about desires, or simply spending more meaningful time together. If you're in a relationship and notice physical signs that your partner might not have had sex in a while, such as changes in natural lubrication or libido, approach the topic with sensitivity. Instead of making them feel self-conscious, have an open and honest discussion about your intimacy. Explore ways to reconnect. And don't be afraid to experiment with different forms of physical closeness that might help rekindle your sexual relationship. Using these suggestions in everyday life involves a combination of being kind, perceptive, and having honest conversations. By noticing these signals and dealing with them sensitively, you can improve your connections and make a more understanding atmosphere for your loved ones. Keep in mind, the important thing is to be tolerant and considerate, letting closeness grow on its own. If you found this video useful, please remember to thumbs up, spread the word, and follow our channel for more informative material. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.